You ready? Yeah, I'm, ready? I've been rolling. We rocking? We rolling? YouTube, what's going on? It's your boy DB Kicks. You back with another video. I'm trying so hard not to clap my hands so much. Like I, I, I want to do it, but I'm like, I, I can't, man. I'm, I'm trying. I'm trying to hold back, man. But today we got new sneakers, man. It's gonna be a good day. I'm super excited about these, cause y'all know I'm cheap. I don't know if I told you I'm cheap, man. So if I can, yeah, you know, if I spend a little extra cash to get something, it, it's it's gotta be worth it, man. So uh, before we get into that, man. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, you know what I'm saying? Swing your way to that description box, man. Pull up on your boy and, the, uh, you know what I'm saying, the Instagram, Twitter, world, or whatever. Giveaway coming soon. I uh, almost forgot about that. When we hit 300 subscribers, we're going to give away something pretty dope. And uh, But yeah, without further ado, I don't even want to talk too much. Let's just go ahead and get into this video. They're playing DDR over there, so I hope uh, y'all ain't picking up all that bass and shit in the back. But uh, <laughs> I think y'all should be good. But all right, let's go ahead and jump into this. Um. Uh. <laughs> we got a pair of air there you go back up i'm still i'm still on the cell phone y'all man let me tell y'all best buy y'all about to catch these hands bro best buy lost my camera <laughs> that's all i'm gonna say i'm not even gonna go into detail best buy lost my camera so i might be getting a brand new camera hopefully early next week we will see anyways so you got your standard air jordan one box nike air on there you know what i'm saying got all the tags and stuff on there you know, it's an early, early pair, so I know sometimes people get skeptical, and I'm guilty of it myself. But I figured I'd jump the gun and try something different, and let's see. So, you got your standard Air Jordan 1 label, black, crimson, tint, white, size 8, retail 160. Y'all see everything is on there. Whoosh inside of the box. Gotta show you guys. I'm gonna dig a little bit deeper just because it's an early pair, so I wanna make sure... You know what I'm saying? I'm showing you guys everything. Standard white paper. I'm gonna show you guys where I got them too, man. Like, that's the whole point of this. I'm not, you know, I don't have nothing to hide, man. I'm gonna show you, you know, I'm, I don't have a plug. You know what I'm saying? So, I'm gonna just show you guys everything. Ah! Uh, focus on that for me. Help me out here. So, we got the crimson. There we go. We got the crimson tint Air Jordan 1. First thing I'm gonna say, and I'm not, y'all know I'm not gonna lie to y'all. This Air Jordan 1 right here, it's gonna be a problem. i me tell y'all why. In recent memory, this is one Jordan that I cannot remember that has switched dates so many times. So first date we had was like April, what date was like 13th? Mm -hmm. It was like April 13th, right? Then they said sometime in May, push all the way back to May. Then this morning I checked Z Sneaker has, he posted April 12th. Went to the sneakers app. They finally put them up yesterday. Sneakers app has April 12th also. So, here's what I think is going to happen. So, I think April April 12th is going to be the sneakers release date. Um, I've checked all my the Foot Locker list and stuff. Nothing. Nothing. They, are, they don't have any information. So, what I think is going to happen, they're either going to roll these out next week online. And then, maybe in May, they'll do a full drop. Or, they... Full Locker might just randomly start getting these. Uh, that's just my thoughts. I, I'm not sure. I picked mine up from StockX, as you can see. And I have, there you go. See the tag on there? Yes, it has an authentication tag, but uh, just some food for thought. Always do your own authentication, man. Do your own research. Compare. You know, I have tons of other Jordan ones. I compare these to retail pairs. And I can tell you now, these are A1 100. So, we gotta go ahead and get into this review, man, because these these things is fire, bro. I'm not lying to y'all. Start for starters, so you have an all black upper. So you have this pebble. They're calling it an upgraded pebbled leather. So it's a very nice, it's very nice leather. I'm gonna take this out so you guys can kind of see how soft it is. So you got a very nice, pretty plush pebble leather right there. There you go. I'm gonna get real close. You got an all uh, black pebble leather upper. Crimson tint swoosh. So this swoosh and where this, the wings are at right here. So all this pink leather is like a standard smooth leather. I compare it to like a, uh, it's not real soft to be honest. It's not soft. It's like a, uh, damn, what, what's the release that? What's the Jordan now? What name of Jordan one? Rookie. No, it's not as soft as a rookie either. I, it'll come back to me. But yeah, so you got an all pink, pink on the back. No branding on the back, keeping it OG. That black leather stripe uh, wraps around in the back. 
And as you work your way to the inside, same pink swoops that's on the outside, black pedal leather. So this side panel is like pretty, pretty normal, but y'all hear that? Like it's a nice, it's a nice touch of leather, I promise y'all. All black right here. Uh, let's see, laces are all black. Standard nylon tongue. Nike Air on the tongue. You guys see where that swoosh crosses, so you know there is no funny business. This is a 1,000% legit pair. Um, legit. Yeah, legit. <laughs> you got all, all crimson tint sole. Hot pink insoles. I'm going to pull these out. I'll probably throw photos out, actually. Hot pink insole. And what I cannot tell, I can't figure out if this is black or is this that green. I'll show you where the green comes in at. It's hard to tell. It's very hard to tell, but that, that's green, right? You see it? Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's a green. So you got green insoles. You got a standard. You got your standard size tag in there, size 8 with your production dates. Rip the insoles out. You should have these. So this I never noticed. They have like holes in the insole. They used to not do this. So I went back a little bit, started ripping insoles out of Jordan 1s, and they got the same thing. So that's another thing that you got to look for, like... Just want to point out all the details for you guys, just in case you guys do want to get a pair or you guys are going to have to pay resale. Because I promise you now, they're going to, yeah. The, so a lot of people are going to take L's. Uh, my only my only complaint for this sneaker, I would say, is that I wish the pink leather was a little bit more, a little bit more soft. So you guys can see I'm pressing that. It's kind of stiff, right? The black leather is really plush. I just pulled out a Jordan 1, right? You know. Standard Jordan 1. So you see how this is kind of tough? This is just like a flat standard leather. It, it almost, to be honest, it reminds me of like the older breads, like from like 13 or 14, if that's the right year. It's not It's not soft. Like you see this? Focus on that. See how soft that is? How that kind of doesn't really bounce back? This one's more stiff. So if you guys think about getting a pair early or you guys are going to try to get a pair online next week, these come with a pair of crimson colored laces with green tips. They should be rolled up in a bag just like this. And also, you got the turbo green laces. Or I said turbo green, goddamn. Green, whatever. It looks like a turbo green that matches the Nike Air on the insole. So, um, yeah. And the back of the collar, I'm missing detail. I haven't really looked at these shoes too many times. The back collar, this tumble leather is very soft to the touch. Nice premium leather. I think these are, they, they killed these, man. Quality is on point. Craftsmanship is amazing. There's no glue stains, no flaws. Um, so in person, I don't know how it's going to really come up on camera. It looks really, really bright. So it's kind of like a, uh, I would, I will call it like a salmon pink type of color, right? So it's not, it's not like a real soft pink. It's like a bleached pink. What do you think? Yeah. Yeah. Like It's like a bleached pink. It's hard so. to tell. Yeah, it's like a pastel pink. I know it's kind of coming up bright. And then I know if you kind of move it's in. It's got like a hit of peach. Yeah, it's got a hit of peach, but it's definitely black and pink. And I think that alone is good. That's that's why this shoe's going to be a problem. A black and pink high OG one? Come on, man. Like, we, we haven't gotten this yet, man. This, this is, so far this year, this is my favorite Air Jordan one. And I got, I got all of them except for, I don't know. I got pretty much all of them that came out this year. This this, this one, I promise y'all, bro, this is it. So I compared these bags, you know what I'm saying, to some other high OGs I have. So they should come rolled up like this. Now, sometimes Jordan Brand puts the jump in on the lace bags. Sometimes they don't. This pair, they didn't. So if you guys have something different, hey, let me know. You know what I'm saying? Let me know. Please do. Damn, these are just good, yo. Good shoe. What do you think? What do you think about them? What's your thoughts? Let's just say I'm mad I don't have a pair. Yeah, they're, they're coming in grade school, though. They are coming out in grade school. Uh, just like any other Air Jordan 1, these Air Jordan 1 Crimsons do fit true to size. So I'm going to give you guys one last good... Man. Let me move these laces out, man. You guys, one last good look. Cold, man. I need to get a turntable. I might invest in that. I think a turntable would be pretty dope. Air Jordan 1, Crimson Tent Colorway. Release date for this is, I'm going to just say to be determined. <laughs> we don't even know, but Sneakers got has April 12th. But as far as your in-store drops, guys, I have no idea what's going to go on. But just take advice. Just start paying attention to your store. Start calling. Because I guarantee you, 
one thing about retailers before you know but of course before the sneaker comes out they got these shoes sitting in the back they're gonna tell you they don't know, but I promise you, they got them sitting in the back, and these are gonna hit foot lockers, foot actions, all of that. I guarantee you that. Mark my words on that part. But um, yeah, so we'll go ahead and I'm gonna get these on feet for you guys. Did enough talking, try to get enough details as possible for you guys on the sneaker. And uh, we are gonna throw these on feet right now. We pop in this, this StockX tag, because my authentication, they look great to me. I'm also going to try to get a retail pair, and I'm still going to do my comparison, but at that point, it'll be too late because I probably already rocked them. But, yeah, thank you guys for rocking me, man. I appreciate it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, man. And we are out of here. Thank you, guys.